the emotions of this day for you after 12 years here in Vancouver? No, it's really emotional day. It's a little bit of mixed emotions. Um, after practice, talking to my agent about uh, uh, the deal with Ottawa, um, how it came up really quickly and uh, had to make a decision. Um, obviously, before that, I weighted the pros and cons. And uh, when I have uh, looked at it, Ottawa, I thought Ottawa was going to be a good fit. Um, they have a great team. They got a, good, a lot of good pieces. Um, and they're going to be uh, competing maybe in the Stanley Cup playoffs uh, if we can have a, a good final 20 games. So uh, that's the good part. But the sad part was um, I care a lot about this uh, team. I've been here for 12 years. They gave me my first, uh, my first chance. Um, I had lots of good memories, lots of good friendships in the locker room. I met a lot of great people uh, throughout the years, starting with uh, Francesco and the brothers and uh, all our coaches, all our staff, our medical staff, or the community side of uh, things, uh, all my great teammates throughout the years. So it'll be tough to s let them go and uh, move on to another team. But um, so a lot of mixed emotions today. Well, you had provided a list to management. Did you have to put Ottawa into the mix? And if so, why? Uh, that no, that's not how it really worked out. Um, I think me and Jim, uh, we met after the Philly game last Sunday. Um, we had a really respectful conversation. Uh, I said before that I totally understand the situation as becoming a free agent at the end of the year. So uh, obviously he's got to do his due diligence. He's got to do what's best for the organization. And uh, we had a... Um, just a respectful conversation. So for the details, uh, he's, he had some conversation with my agents as teams were calling or inquiring about me. It's not like I submitted a list or he gave me a list. Uh, as it went along, my agent and Jim had some conversations. And then the last uh, few days, Ottawa popped up and uh, thought it was a good fit. Well, that's huge. That's huge for me. Um, I said it all along, like, I care a lot about hockey. That's probably my number one priority besides my family. And uh, I wanted to go to a team that uh, was a good fit for me hockey-wise, but at the same time, family-wise. And uh, I think uh, there wasn't really a perfect situation, but I think Ottawa was pretty close to perfect for me, close to home back east. Uh, my parents will be able to watch games at 7 instead of 10 o'clock. Uh, it's going to be an easy drive for um, my friends to come down, my family to come down to Ottawa and cheer me, down, cheer, cheer me on. So there is a lot. It's a Canadian city, Canadian market, and I like their team. I really believe that they have a shot at, at winning. Their window is just opening right now. they got a lot of good pieces. Uh, I've watched them play a few games, and they seem to have a total buy in the uh, of what uh, Guy Boucher is selling. Uh, they're playing well, uh, playing the right way. And that's really interesting for me. And uh, I could really see uh, the Sens and uh, myself uh, come out of the division if we get the playoff, if everything goes accordingly. What about the season that you're having, kind of a bounce back after some injuries before? Uh, like, And you've always been a good playoff player. What do you think the Sens are getting in Alex Burroughs? Well, uh, I'll try to bring my game. I'll try to bring some leadership. I'll try to bring some uh, passion to the game. Uh, some intensity. Um, wherever Guy feels uh, I fit in the lineup, it's up to him. It don't really matter to me if I'm on any line. I'm going to try to contribute to the team's success. I truly believe that uh, if everybody pushes in the right direction and believes that they can get there, that's how you accomplish uh, some big things. So I'm going to go in, try to be a good teammate, work hard, and uh, fit wherever uh, they need me to play. Alex, is it a little sentimental or surreal that you're being reunited with Mark Crawford? Uh, a little bit. Uh, but Crow was a big part of my career, too. Like Without Crow, I probably would not have even have played in the NHL. So he's my first NHL coach that believed in me or saw something in me. Um, and now, 12, 13 years later, uh, we'll be reunited in Ottawa. And uh, I'm looking forward to it because he, he's uh, one of the coaches that taught me how to play the, the game the right way or bring the passion every night, and uh, I'm looking forward to meet him again. You played for Guy at the World Championships, right? What just How was that relationship, and did, did that make it easier knowing the coach, and have you spoken to him yet? Yeah, I spoke to him yesterday. 
Um, he's a really intense coach, really uh, passionate about the game, uh, really detail oriented. Um, he's really, um, I think he's got a total buy-in from his hockey club. Yeah, you can see what he's done with uh, some of their players, the way Carlson's playing right now, the way he's uh, handled his team all year. I think they're looking really strong, uh, playing well. And um, for me, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, get to know him even more and um, learn from him as a coach. Do you know anybody on that roster? I know a few guys. Uh, I've played with uh, Turis, FNAF, uh, at somewhere else. I've I known uh, there was Derek Brassard, Peugeot, I know. Um, I know a few guys on their roster. I think they got a lot of good pieces with Carlson. That might be one of the best defensemen in the league. Anderson's playing great. Um, Brassard, Turis, Stone's a great player. I don't really know him, but I'm lo really looking forward to watch him play closely because uh, from the outside he looks like a really good player.